Hey everyone, this is Jacob S. Paulson with JacobSPaulson.com, and I am here in my home office in Provo, Utah, and I have here on the line with me Leighton Durney. Uh, Leighton, Hi, everyone. Hey, Leighton. Leighton's down in uh, Auckland, New Zealand, uh, but he is seeing my screen right now, my computer screen, and uh, me and Leighton have been talking a lot lately about social media and Internet marketing, and uh, Leighton's already somewhat familiar with Twitter uh, and Facebook and MySpace and YouTube and some of these other sites, uh, but I was introducing Leighton today to this website, goodreads.com. And what we're going to do uh, right now while everybody's watching is we're going to go ahead and set up Leighton a Goodreads account. And uh, as we go through this, Leighton, feel free to ask any questions, and I'll kind of give you an idea for what Goodreads is and how it works. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and sign out of my account, and we'll just go right, uh, right back to the home page here of goodreads.com. Okay, well, I, I tell you, we're going to get going. I'm just going to go ahead and click on sign up right here. Basically, Goodreads, uh, it is its own social network. And Leighton, you just tell me if I'm spelling your name wrong here. Perfect. Now that's all good. What email address do you like to use, Leighton? Um, financialhealth88 at gmail.com. Just like that? That's perfect. Perfect. And why don't you uh, just type into the webcast room for me the password you want to use, and I'll copy it over. Uh, while you're doing that, Goodreads basically is its own social network, um, and its media is books. Um, and it is its own website, goodreads.com, so it's its own independent social network. But you can also add uh, your own, the, the Goodreads application on Facebook and on uh, MySpace and on Bebo and, and some of these. And it's pretty cool because it's almost like you have a social network that you're embedding into other social networks. And understand that, uh, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best social networks out there because in addition to it being, uh, you know, another social network, it's easier to network and to start to communicate with people and to make friends uh, when you know what books they read. And you're going to see that very quickly. And now, Leighton, of course, like every other social network, it's going to give us an opportunity to import your friends uh, and and see if any of them are already on Goodreads. So if you what's uh, just type in your Gmail uh, password over there. Oh, I see you already did it. So I'm going to go ahead and and try this out, and we'll see if any of Layton's Gmail friends are already on Goodreads. And of course it says that I am, and Andrew <coughs> Andrew James, our buddy over at Andrew James Inc. and Jerry Glover, all three of these guys are already on uh, Goodreads. So we'll go ahead and add them as friends while we're at it. And, of course, it wants us to send out an invitation to every single other person in our address book. And while I personally believe this is a good uh, decision, Leighton, I'm going to let you do it uh, later when you really feel like it. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it for now, and uh, we'll move forward. So far, everything looked pretty simple, Leighton? It certainly has, yep. Good. Now, right now, this is kind of our home page, and this is the first thing you see when you set up your, your Goodreads account. And like all other social media networks, the first thing we want to do before we start adding friends and going crazy is we want to establish a profile for you that's very professional and very personal so that pe when people uh, see you and they, and they see that you want to be their friend, they can go look at you and see what it is that you like, what, what you're all about. And that's going to be real obvious. People are going to learn a lot about you by the books you read. That's the genius of this site, uh, right? And so let's... Let's briefly, let's, let's add a couple books. Uh, Leighton, what are some of your favorite books that you've read? It's probably The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Yeah, that's a, that's a popular one. I've read that book. I happen to love it. Oh, we, we, I must, I'm going to close this little box. How many stars do you want to give this? Uh, probably five stars. That's, I'm a fan also, and I'm going to let you come back in later, but you can type in a review also. And I would encourage you, Leighton, to every single time you ever read a book, you always rate it with stars, and you write a review. Because uh, people learn a lot more about you, and they're much more likely to be drawn to you uh, if they read the review. And so you always review every book you've ever read. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Just, just a quick question. What, what sort of things would you look to include in a review? A little bit about what the book is and why you liked it, frankly. Um, I really liked the Da Vinci Code because it was suspenseful. I felt like I couldn't put it down. It was very drawing to me. Uh, the the story had a certain historical air about it. I like, you know, m books that, that has some kind of historical, uh, you know, themes or whatever. So you just want to write a little bit of review that really tells people why you like the book. There's some other options here. We can hit more options and just scroll down. And you can see you can also say how many times you've read this book. I've read this book five times. Or I would re recommend this book too. And you can start typing in the name of one of your friends. 
Uh, you can say, who recommended this book to me? And you can write some private notes that only you will ever see on this book. And if you own this book, you can say, hey, I own this. And that would show your friends like me that, uh, hey, Leighton owns that book, and if I want to read it, I can ask him to borrow it. Awesome. Now that's fantastic. So that's cool. Do you own this book, Leighton? Uh, yes, I do. So we'll check that box, and we'll just go ahead and hit save. Okay, so that book is saved. Now, real quick, what we're going to do is I'm just going to come over here to highlight and click on my profile, and this will show your profile. So right now you have no pictures, not much about you, but we know you, you have one book on your bookshelf. You've you read one book, and there it is. And it shows uh, your rating, and if you had written a review, it would show it right here. All right. So far, so good? It certainly is, yep. Awesome. Let's search for one more book real quick, Leighton, a, a book you may want to read or you have read or any type of book. Um... Oh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Sure, absolutely popular. So we just type it in. <clears throat> of course, it's going to pop up real quick. Um, this time, instead of clicking on Add to My Books, I'm going to actually click on the book, and you'll see that it's going to pull up a book profile. It's going to show us a lot about this book. Uh, now, have you read this one, Leighton, or do you want to read it? Uh, I've read this one. Okay, so we're going to come down here. How many stars do you want to give this one? Uh, I'll give it a five as well. Okay, so it's added to your books. Um, you've given it five stars. Uh, we, it's, it's, we're good to go. You can also come down here and you can see uh, uh, people that are talking about this book. These are topics about it. Uh, you can mm -hmm. see if any of your friends had reviewed this, it would show their reviews here. And so currently you don't have any friends that have accepted your friend request. A uh, list with this book on it. Uh, these are reviews from other people. Say, hey, this Troy guy, he wrote a really cool review. I want to be his friend. You can click on his name and go and look. And there's also, most importantly, groups with this book, because uh, in Goodreads there are book groups, and those are kind of like book clubs, and uh, you can join book groups and book clubs and be part of, uh, of, of those groups. It's, it's really great. Uh, let me show you another example very quickly. You're familiar with the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill? Yes. Um, so if we scroll down here, you can see that there's going to be a lot of lists with this book on it, and a lot of groups. And so, for example... If you saw this, you know, this book and you say, I really like this book, and there's a group right here called the Number One Business and Personal Development Book Club, uh, you know, and I'd like to be, maybe I want to be a member of this book group. It's got 33 members, you know, and these guys, looks like they got a lot of good books. Uh, so you can come here and you can join a group also, and that's a good way to network with other people and, and get to know people. And I'm especially fond of this book group since it's mine. Um, so far, <laughs> it's so good, Leighton? Yeah, no, Fantastic. So the idea here is to get your profile going. You know, find books, search for as many books as you can, add them, review them, and then start looking for friends. Uh, look for groups that you might like. You can search for lots of different things here, uh, and and it's it's really a lot of fun. And you can see why this is going to be easy to meet people, to have an instant conversation, to talk to someone about, and to really be able to get up going at a fast start. Right. One last thing, actually, we probably should do before we uh, knock off is we do want to show you how to personalize your profile. So I'm going to come up here and click on my profile. And uh, when we come here, we can come and click on edit profile. Once we click on edit profile, Layton, you'll see that you, you'll be able to upload a photo right here. In fact, it's already opening up a window for me to do that. Uh, you can come in and change your username. So it's goodreads.com slash whatever. And that's your virtual real estate. You want to make sure you brand that. Uh, just like you do your Twitter and other things. You'll be able to select your gender, your zip code, your date of birth, and you can put in one outgoing website, one link to another website, just like you're on Twitter. So, of course, we're going to want to put in a link to your personal site, the latentjourney.com or whatever you have prepared. And then you want to write a little bit about your interests, your favorite books, and, and a little bit about you. Who are you, what you're about, so when people visit your profile, they can learn a little bit about you. Does that help? Yeah, no, certainly. That's fantastic. And then obviously make sure you come and check the apps. If you're on Facebook, add this app on Facebook. If you're on MySpace or Bebo, add this app on Bebo. And once you get your account kind of set up and all your books on here, you can also set up your Twitter account so that every time you add a book on Goodreads, it automatically tweets it for you. So what you're saying there, Jacob, by adding those different apps, when I add something to Goodreads, it's going to post into Facebook and to tweet, Twitter and et cetera? Right. Or? <laughs> yeah, it will. So it's an easy way to let people know what you're reading. And it, obviously on that Twitter page, it contains a link that people can click that will bring them back to Goodreads and see your review or the, see the book or whatever it is. Leighton, I appreciate you being here with me today. I think that uh, this has been a good quick overview of Goodreads.com, and I'm excited to be your friend on this website. Fantastic. Thanks for your help, Jacob. That's awesome.